Okay, so first of all, good morning and good afternoon, my friends. This is uh, coffee time with Danny and Robbie. We're gonna ask each other a bunch of questions and see what each other has to say. Yes, we're going to do this. And by the way, I did not sleep last night at all. Robbie, did you get any sleep? Yeah, I got, a good you got sleep. Okay, well, whatever. So this is just about me. When you're excited enough to do something, you get up and you do it. Doesn't matter if you slept or not because, you know, this, this is fucking exciting. We're gonna answer questions now, so. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Danny. Yes. What is the, the worst decision you've ever made? The worst decision I've ever made. That's that's actually <laughs> I didn't know we were getting we were getting so personal. Um, the worst decision I ever made was um, I my first girlfriend ever. We were dating for three years, and um, at the end I cheated on her, and that was by far the worst decision I've ever made. And um, yes, it made me an extremely honest person. It, um, it it made me become very authentic, very honest. It made me feel very bad uh, for a very long time. Um, and that was by far the worst decision I've ever made. But once again, there were positive concepts. There, 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 there was a positive result at the end of the day. I believe that both of us uh, grew from it uh, overall because, you know, like it's... People make mistakes and you understand that you're not perfect. Life isn't perfect. It's messy. And, um, but at the end of the day, it really does make you like, like because of this, I, I really, I, I, I do not. And I, and I used to tell like little white lies when I was younger. I used to tell like little white lies. I would try to get out of things. And I become very, very honest and very, very authentic, and that's exactly, and that's what I teach. So basically, what I teach nowadays, it's, 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 a, it's a short, it's a question. It's not like uh, <laughs> ah, I got you. No, it's not a rant. I'll, tell, I'll, I'll tell you why because because just saying you cheated sounds bad, but if you talk about let's say the good that came out of it at the very least, then um, you know, yeah, but, but you, uh, you got into a bit of a marketing thing. Huh? You got into a bit of a. I got a bit, a bit of a marketing thing. Come okay. To my seminar. <laughs> exactly. Come to my seminar. So, okay. Ro my okay. Seminar. I'll tell you something. So Robbie. Yeah. You're a business coach, for the more, uh, more or less, correct? Okay, so um, how do you like like so? How do you coach someone? How do I coach someone? Exactly. How do you coach someone? If someone says, "Robbie, I need to make money. How do I do it?" Like, like where, so, where do you start? So, so it, it always comes back to attention. So you, you, the only thing you need to know to make money is how to get attention and then how to capitalize it on it. Mm -hmm. And what's even more important than how to capitalize is just getting attention because mm -hmm. attention itself equals money attention. and I've always thought it's about the selling techniques it's about the way you present your product it's about uh, specific tools you use but at the end of the day what I realized is it's all about attention like mm -hmm. if you get lots of attention even if you don't know anything about marketing or selling uh, yeah. people will come up to you and they'll say I'll pay you money yeah. just for the attention yeah because uh, somebody else will know what to do with it so mm -hmm. attention is like the most um, is one of the most valuable things and then the other one is knowing what to do with that attention mm -hmm. so somebody who can get a lot of attention then somebody who knows how to sell with that attention mm -hmm. will make sure you make money so, or somebody who knows how to make a lot of money from attention mm -hmm. can basically pay money to get that attention mm -hmm. and basically grow indefinitely the best example is click funnels that yeah, yeah, yeah. grew yeah. to like 400 million dollars without any backing just because they have like the best um, sales process probably in the world <sighs> there you go danny so, how did how did you get so muscular how did i get so can muscular? you show them like what, what you got like the guns the guns i'll show you guys the guns but to be honest the rest of the body costs money but i can show you the i can show you guys the guns i don't even know if it's like how this even looks on camera or whatever yeah but... not, not as good as in real life but but like yeah. you look like you're a ripped motherfucker yeah 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 so i'll tell I'll, I'll tell you guys it's 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 an overall process first it kind of started how um when I first moved to Israel, so I didn't speak the language and I was getting kind of beaten up and I kind of had to like fight back. Oh, Rob, I, the truth is I don't even know why I'm talking because Robbie should be talking about the no, guns. No, I'm, I'm short, so I, the exactly. muscles look thicker. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, he's kind of, you guys can't tell because it's the camera, but but Robbie is like a just semi -mid. Up, a bit above me. Exactly, a bit up, it's just above. Exactly. He can't get a, a, a handicap parking thing, but yeah, he's a, yeah. So anyway, he's like the worst possible height. <laughs> Yeah, because you don't get the benefits. Exactly, you don't get the benefits. Agent. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't get the, exactly, like at the very least. Yeah, exactly. But uh, but but he has he he has a lot up here, you know, yeah. and uh, and in here too. That's also part. I'm trying to like feel your heart with the cat. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So the point is, is that it started off with that. How I just wanted to get stronger. That's also how I learned how to fight and stuff like that. And I just wanted how to get stronger. And um, then with time, I, I also wanted to get girls, and I thought that having a good body would help me get girls, and it didn't because I just didn't have the confidence and I didn't know what to do. But I did work out. I, I didn't learn how to work out properly. I didn't learn how to eat properly. Little by little, it evolved to the point where like I was in the gym, but I wasn't enjoying myself. Um, so I said, how can I continue to to move 
but still enjoy myself. And then I started exploring dance and, and, and motion, like Ido Portal. I highly recommend you Google right now Ido Portal. I-D-O Portal. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, exactly. Um, and whether it's like martial arts or dance, like or I do like pole dancing, anything that basically defies gravity. If you continuously defy gravity, you will remain young forever. That's really the case. And your muscles will, and your, your muscles have to adapt on a daily basis to defy gravity. All right. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. Ba- yeah, that's that's basically it in a nutshell. And of course, when it comes to eating, so um, you just try to eat as natural as you know, as, as natural as you can. Things that have a ton of ingredients that you don't even understand, I would stay away from them. Mm. And that's basically it for the most part. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I like the comment about the gravity thing because it's. I think it's the same, but with all things in life. Exa- yeah, boom. Exa- exactly. Yeah. If you're always defying gravity, you have to adapt. But also, you got to find something, in my opinion, that also it's fun to do. Because working out for me in the gym is just really boring. Mm. But then when you but, but then when you find like like dance or martial arts, yeah, um, or all sorts of stuff like that, it keeps it inter- it, it, or parkour. I love I love parkour. Cause for it, for it, me, by the it, way, yeah. I just like lifting weights. Like, so once again, everyone, because some yeah, some people just love the pump. It's true. Some people just love it. So you really have to find what you love to do, and that that's that's really what it comes down to. Um, so Robbie, how yeah. can someone how can someone do what they love to do and get paid for it? Get a lot of attention. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, really. Oh, like it's really that simple. But, like, but, but uh, a lot, a lot. But for example, you we even discussed earlier about like 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 setting a baseline, for example, of income, and then after the baseline, you can as if think about. Yeah, but that's like more know. like financial strategy for healthy like finances. But I mean, we're talking right now about just making money from what you love, mm-hmm. like all things aside. Um, so what are just, so, just so, like Jordan Buffer says, so, like, so you know all what? things aside, look, <laughs> no money aside, money aside, money aside, money aside. yeah, <laughs> money aside. I, I, how did he become such a good salesman? His voice is really annoying. He, he actually uploaded a video of him doing like a sales a sales meeting, and it was so bad. Like, so I was like, and he's like, I don't know, but dude, he brings the thunder. Like he brought the thunder, regardless. But um, I mean, not in the most ethical way, of course, and very unethical way. Yeah. Here's another question. How do you, so, so like, what are some good ways to get, let's say you're camera shy. What are some good ways to get attention? You, you just have to do it. Like, oh, so like, oh, the camera's the yeah, only way. The camera's it, it, the only no, way. No, I'm not saying okay. it's the only way. Camera shy, like you're basically saying, what do you do if you don't want to get attention? So, so the best way you can, uh, so if you, it's about you, you don't want to be the, like the brand, then you can just become, hide behind a company. Uh, but even that, like oh. all successful companies, they have like a representor. Like, Dude. if you get like Apple, you got Steve Jobs. You got Microsoft. Tell, them, got... tell them about, about about the quadrant, man. The quadrant. The quadrant is pretty fucking. Um, yeah. So maybe later, maybe later. we'll. we'll... Is that we'll called? Is, is that paid content? <laughs> that <laughs> it's like, paid content behind a paywall. Robbie yeah. actually has an amazing so, uh, um, breakdown. Whatever, yeah. He yeah. doesn't want to talk about it. Okay. So yeah, basically. Um, you got to get attention like even it, it, it's not even about how good you are like you could be like th- I did this thing where this blogger asked me like how do you make a lot of money as a blogger so I said there's basically three things you need and uh, there's three things and you just need two of them so it's it's by the way in everything you might do mm-hmm. in life so you need to be good at it uh, you need to know how to market it and you need to know how to make money from it so if you just know two of these things You'll be good. Like, let's say you're a singer, okay? You need to know how to Ooh, sing, geez. how to get people to uh, to pay attention to you singing, and how to monetize that. <coughs> oh, thank God. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah. So, Ooh, so, so, good. so, let's say you're a singer, okay? And you know how to sing, and you know how to get a lot, of, lots of attention. Somebody will fill in the third part, the the getting money, okay? Because somebody will help manage you. Yeah. Let's say you're a good, you're a, a great singer, and you know how to make lots of money. You don't want to know. You know how to know how to get attention. Somebody will help you get attention because again, there's a lot of profitability in what you do because you know how to monetize. Let's say that now, now here's the cool part. Let's say that you're a shitty singer, yeah, and you only know how to get a lot of attention yeah. and how to make money from it. Yeah, you're basically a Nicki Minaj. Basically, oh, there we go, Nicki Minaj. So we call this the Nicki Minaj paradigm or Nicki Minaj principle. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Nicki Minaj. I'm so, yeah, so you only need to know how to. You need to know how to be good at it, how to get attention, and how to sell it. And if you just know two of these, you're good. And here's, and here's the crazy part: is that online there's tons of like fake influencers, so they clearly they know how to get attention and they know and they, and they know how to market it. But no, even you know. even let's take even a step further. Like you can be a shitty singer. There's like yeah, you can, There's yeah. a guy online, uh, uh, this obese guy. Yeah, he use like voice distortion and stuff like that. No, yeah. no, this this obese guy that what he does, he sings the song. Uh, Somebody once told me the world is a... Mm-hmm. And he just takes any, every song, like let's say uh, Bring Me to Life by Evanescence or yeah. anything you can think of, and he just puts the backing of that song and he just sings that yeah. song on top of it. 
So he just does, he just does and, a bad and, one. And the dude has like, <laughs> and he's just shooting from his webcam. It looks like shit, like a bad angle. This obese weird guy, and he's got like eight hundred thousand subscribers. He gets like about three hundred thousand views per video minimum. Let me tell you, here's the funny part: if you go full on total in something, you'd be surprised. There are, there are people like, like this is the long tail principle. That there's like something for everybody. It is out there. You you will find your audience. That that that, that is true. Okay, so Danny, what is your most successful project so far? Successful project so far. Wow, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm really wow. That's actually that's like too many question. or not enough. No, no, no. There, there, there is actually there is actually some some very successful projects out there. The most, the one you're most proud of. Oh, the one I'm. Oh, that's act. That's actually that's okay. That that's 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 actually that's actually a much better one. All right, because yeah, there was there was definitely some projects I did in the past where like I used let's say um, um, SEO and stuff like that, and I was able to as if like game this. I was able to game the system of Google, and I was able to make a lot of money, but it wasn't ethical. It was coming from a place of fear. Not proud of it. Um, maybe, well, maybe a little bit, but because <laughs> you, know, you know it does take some brains. But for the most part, look, the, look, the most successful project is is what was definitely the dating science that I came up with. The specific way, the specific way that I teach dating science to guys and girls, the way that I teach um, total authenticity, and the way that I teach it, it's able to remove a lot of emotional blocks very, very fast. Um, and what I say is that the way to to your light is through your shadows. And for the sake of example, many times, whether it's in sales or whether it's uh, with dating or whether it's with with most with a lot of situations, we'll try to present ourselves in one way, but we're actually feeling another way. And this dissonance it, cre- it basically creates an internal war inside of you. And the person outside, it depends how in tune they are to like overall emotion and, and energy. Usually, they can sense that something's off. And here's the thing: you're always at war with yourself. And what I teach people is I basically it's funny. Like I never thought I'd call myself a pacifist, but I basically yeah I I, I, te- I teach like inner peace. I'm, I'm able to teach inner peace in a way where we're able to cut right to like we're able to cut to the issue, cut to the meat of the issue very very fast, and get you being super authentic super quickly. And it just makes the world a much more open and real and accepting place. And I'm very I'm very happy and it's what I fucking do. And I yeah, love it's, it. it's very interesting because Danny yeah. like we have like very opposing ways of uh, of advancing in the world. Like yeah. for me, it's like. I don't care about the resistance. I'll just like push through by force, just mm-hmm. just massively. And with Danny, what he does, it's like he lubricates it. and makes it really, <laughs> really nice and smooth. And then uh, he, it takes much less effort to actually get what he wants to get. Well, look, here's the thing. I'll also, look, I mean, this is going to sound like really, I guess, weird or Disney-like or, or woo-woo-y, but I'm kind of walking around with like a song in my heart a little bit. Like I always feel this like internal uh, uh, vibration. This Cheer kind later. of like, huh? Chill, like, yeah, that, that is good. <laughs> no, not, but no, sort of, it's not, I mean, not like that, but like an internal, just an internal like, Ah, and yeah, here's the funny part. When you're walking around like that, you notice the sun, and you're like, "Oh, the sun!" And you notice like when I was walking over here, there's like there's, there's like there's like plants on on Derech Namir, and I actually they stopped and I. Derech Namir. Uh, okay, so I'm sorry. There's Namir Road. There's like this big t- road with like lots of cars, but they have like flowers, and I actually just like stopped because I felt like smelling one. Literally, you know what? And, the roses. Dude, and here's the but here's the weirdest part. I, I was so not like this. I was so not like this. It's something that just <laughs> fell into my lap by accident. Because yeah. once again, I faced these really difficult like like demons. Let's say where you look at your life and you realize that there's a lot of inauthenticity yeah. and there's a lot of taking things for granted. And when you strip those things away, you can really get to who you actually are and, and you can find like love in like all the little things. So let's wrap up. Let's you, wrap you up. You give me one last question. All right, I'll, all right, I will give you one last question. What, Robbie, if you could give the people right now watching like a massive takeaway, meaning that they're watching this and they, and they can literally take, take what you say and take action immediately, something huge in their life, what would it be? Just get, at, get attention. <laughs> Just whatever. I was very creative today. <laughs> what? No, no. It's yeah. like whatever, whatever it is you want to get in life. If it's the the right guy or girl, or girl, if it's more money, if it's a better job, just start getting attention. Like any way, it doesn't matter. Like it literally doesn't. Like mm. just get more people to know your name, and uh, because people have everything you could want, whether it be love, money, friendship, sex, anything you can think of. And if they don't know you, they can't uh, give you anything. And if they're not thinking about you, which is even worse, like somebody knows you, but they're yeah. not thinking, again, it's the same, it's like you don't exist. So wait, but here's my question, but I'm a spoiler. So let's add a little caveat maybe, maybe you'll agree with me, like, like it's getting attention, but in also an ethical, and I would say even fun way, correct? Isn't that like the, that's like the ideal? No, 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 no. Uh, it, it, because I, I, there's some things in life where people suck so bad at them that you just want to put the bar so low 
that it's that they just start doing it because the moment you start saying mm. it needs to be ethical now the shy person will be like oh is it ethical to message somebody twice I, in the I, same I, day I, I, or oh, okay, is okay, it okay. is it okay. in the final like no yeah. like first get the attention and then worry about like is it the right kind of attention is it like you got to get on the spotlight first yeah. like just think about it the the most the, the most powerful person in the United States right now in the world is Donald yeah. Trump who happens to be the most hated person in the world so mm. even if you just get a lot of really bad attention I have this funny saying that like the only negative attention that you can get is if you harass the woman like if you sexually harass them that's like the only type of attention where there's no audience for that. <laughs> because yeah. because let's say like you're Jordan Belford like you just ripped people off 400 million dollars worth of people money. want to do it. yeah people are like oh, so I, I, exactly I'll teach you how to sell or let's oh, say so you you're a politician you do yeah. something stupid now you can be an activist whatever there's always an, an audience the only thing that there's no audience for is is like <laughs> Is like pre- sexual predator, pre- pre- predator yeah, and even yeah. that, like there might be like the f- underground. Well, he, well, well, here's the funny part: you know? is that is that there actually is because there actually are people who were accused of stuff like that, and then they teach dating. The, 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 like, yeah, but I mean, but, like, but I, I agree. Mean, like, you can't monetize the, the predatory you, stuff. Yeah, you wouldn't want to. <laughs> so you want to stay away from sexual predators, like a course for exactly. Whatever. So if you're a sexual predator, this does not apply to you at all. This is what we're the saying. The only, it's, the only, yeah, yeah. You want to switch your only, line of work. The only situation where it doesn't apply. Yeah, and now there's like a like sexual predator are watching this and they're like oh. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so yeah that, that's yeah, about it yeah, so exactly. uh all right uh this 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 was danny uh we do lectures together and seminars active and seminars, seminars. Like, because here's because here's the yeah. thing like like I, i am a firm believer that anything that you that that you want to actually stick in your body and make a change it has to be very active your body has to be as alive as possible when it's happening you also need very good information and that's what me and robbie do basically All right. Thanks for watching. Thank you, my friends.